Hey Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks on how to do a spiral. So I really hope that this video is going to be helpful for you guys. And without further ado, let's get started with some tips and tricks on how to do a spiral. All right guys, so the very first thing that you have to have nice and solid before you start doing your spirals is you have to have nice solid one foot glides on both feet if you wanna be doing your spirals on both feet. And I do recommend having spirals on both of your feet. So the very important, like the most important thing that you have to have is one foot glides that all the way down the ice just like this in this position. And you wanna make sure that you're able to hold that for a very long time and that you're nice and stable on your feet. All right, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to come over to the wall and there's a lot of exercises for spirals that we can do on the wall. But the first thing that we're going to start off with is we're going to face the wall just like this and we're going to have both hands on the wall for nice stable support. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one of our legs and we're going to almost start off in this one foot glide position that we did. But instead of going into like that one foot, we're going to be standing on one foot, on one foot just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our free foot and we're going to bring it behind us and we're going to keep it nice and straight you want to make sure that your toe is pointed and also you want to make sure that your toe is like turned out to the side like this you don't want your toe facing down because when you do your spiral it's going to look like that and that's not going to be very pretty it's also going to be very difficult to get your leg as high as you really want it so we always want to make sure that when doing our spirals we want our toe nice strong and pointed and turned out to the side and it's going to make your spiral look a lot nicer so we're just going to work on this position and we want to make sure that our standing leg is nice and straight and locked and it should almost feel like you should feel the tension in your bottom leg. It should feel like it's nice and sturdy and we're just going to work and get this position nice and stable and we're going to work on getting like just moving like our hips to make sure that we can hold it up there. This is going to help strengthen our hips as well and we also want to make sure that we're doing it on the other leg as well so that we can have nice beautiful spirals on both legs. All right guys, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking that position that we just practiced on the wall. We're gonna be trying to do that in a one foot glide because pretty much all spirals are a, a one foot glide with your leg up in the air. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna get into a starting position. I just like to start off in a nice T-stop like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take nice, one big stroke what we were doing and then what we're going to want to do is since when we're doing our stroking our standing leg is bent we're just going to stroke and then we're going to straighten that leg so again what we're going to do is we're going to go into the our t-stop we're going to do a nice stroke straighten our leg and we're going to keep our back leg in that same position we don't want to move it down or up we're just going to keep in that nice stroke position you want to make sure that your toe is pointed and facing out to the side and we're just going to work on this and also when we're doing this we want to make sure that our arms are nice and strong to the side and our head is facing straight and yeah so we're going to work on that on the other foot as well i'll show you guys so we're going to go here we're going to push and straighten our leg and then just hold our free leg back there with our arms nice and strong to the side we're going to work on those one foot glides until we get more comfortable and then we can start working on doing our spirals all right so now while we're going to be doing our spirals i just wanted to tell you guys that we don't want our backs to be super down or we don't want them to be super high up because when we're doing our spiral we can't do a spiral like this and we can't do a spiral like this because it's going to be really difficult to get our leg as high as we want so we want to make sure that our like our back is nice and straight and flat to the ice and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our back and our hips to help us lift our leg up at the same time as we are moving our back 
but the first exercise that we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using the wall and what we're going to do is we're going to take our free leg and we're going to actually lift it up onto the wall using both hands on the wall so that we can get that nice and stable balance and what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn our hips so that our leg on the ice is facing straight to the side like this so like i'm facing you guys and my leg is behind me and then what we're going to do is as you guys can tell my back is up right now and what we're going to do is we're actually going to lean forward and we're going to have our arm out to the side like so and you also want to make sure that your head is looking straight because you never want to look down when you're doing a spiral because you won't see what is going on in front of you so we're going to work on that on both legs until we get comfortable with that position All right, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing another spiral exercise at the wall. And I know there's a lot of wall exercises, but trust me, this is really going to help with learning how to do your spiral. So what we're actually going to be doing for this one is we're actually going to start stand a little bit farther away so that we can like bend forwards when we're doing it. But what we're going to do is we're going to have both arms on the wall like so. What we're going to do is we're going to take our foot behind us like what we were doing in that uh, landing position and we're just going to slowly start to lean a little bit more forwards as we use our hips to bring our foot up and we're going to try and get our foot to be as high as possible if you guys also want some really good exercises if you want to get your leg even more higher to get like an extra stretch you can have one of your friends to help you on the ice to help you like lift your leg up or if you don't want to do it on the ice you could also do it at home and have your parents hold like hold onto a wall and have your parents help you like lift up your leg or a sibling or something like that and if you don't have anyone to help you, then what you can do is you can just go up against a wall and almost do splits on the wall. And I can give you guys some examples of that when I get off of the ice. But all of these are great stretches to help you get your spiral and to get your leg up higher. So we're just gonna work on this. We're gonna be facing the wall like so. And always remember, toe out to the side, nice and pointed. And we're going to be really using our hips because you don't just wanna lift our leg up without our chest. So our hips and our back are almost kind of connected when we're doing a spiral, but what we're going to do is we're going to, as we lean, our leg slowly starts to go up. And you want to make sure to keep your leg nice and straight, and you don't want to go super far, and you don't want to like, okay, <laughs> sorry, you don't want to go far if you can't keep your leg straight. I would just suggest going like slow increments, as long as like you can get your leg and like toe pointed and everything, as long as it looks nice and then you can keep working on getting stronger and getting more flexible and your spiral will become higher. And we also want to make sure that we're doing that on the other foot as well, so I'll show you guys that as well. And we're just going to work on that until we get comfortable with that position. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and do it slowly off of the wall. And I don't want you guys to automatically just go into your spiral once you first start it because that is going to be really difficult and you might end up falling. And those are some really painful falls. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to start in a nice T-stop position, arms nice and strong out to the side. What we're going to do is we are going to push into our landing position up into our one foot glide and we're going to slowly flatten out our back and lift our leg up so you almost want to be in like a nice parallel line when you're doing this so we can go and try that again and you want to do all of these steps nice and slow at a very slow speed so that even if you do fall it won't be as painful so what we're going to go we're going to do it again t-stop position arms up to the side we're going to bend push landing position up and slowly start to lean over and lift your foot up into that spiral position. You wanna make sure that you're also doing it on the other foot as well, so I'll do that right now. So we're gonna go T-stop position, same as the other foot. We're gonna push, straighten, and slowly start to lean over into that spiral.
All right, so now all we need to do is we need to just work on that exact thing that I was showing you guys, doing a nice basic spiral. And we're just gonna work on doing that until we get more comfortable with doing it. We can also start adding a little bit more speed, like starting to do a couple more strokes into it. I'll start a little bit farther. And having more speed and getting more comfortable with it will also allow you to have like a nicer spiral. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna do like a couple of strokes and we're gonna push and spiral. And we're just gonna work on that and we're gonna be able to hold it as long as we can. And don't get frustrated if you can't do it your very first time because spirals are actually a very difficult thing to learn. So I know that you guys can do this and I believe in you guys. But I just want you guys to keep working on it until you get more comfortable with it and then your spiral is going to turn out amazing. All right guys, so speed is the main thing to having a nice, beautiful, long spiral. So eventually, as you work on getting more speed doing your spiral, you'll soon be able to do a nice, like, go and get a lot of speed around the ring, and you'll be able to hold your spiral for a very long time. And I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. Okay, so once you guys get nice and comfortable with doing a spiral with full speed and you are able to hold it for a nice long straight line, what we're going to do is we're going to get really fancy and we're going to start adding some edges into it. And there's a lot of different edges that you can do for your spiral. You can do outside and inside edges. And yeah, they're pretty fun and you can experiment. You can also do edge changes and stuff like that, but we're going to start with the basics first. So all we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start again on a, like a little circle and we're gonna go here, we're gonna push and almost like we're doing like a one foot glide on a circle. We're gonna go, we are gonna push and we're gonna go into our spiral position on that edge and we're gonna work on holding that for as long as we can. And we're also going to do that on the other leg as well. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna push and go into our spiral position. You can go and you can try and hold it in the circles, see as long you can hold it, and then we can start and slowly add speed to it. So for inside edge spirals, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing the similar thing. We're just going to be doing nice inside edge edges on like a circle. And then as we get comfortable with that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to start going into a spiral position. So we're gonna get into our T-stop, we're gonna push, and we're gonna lift our foot up into the spiral position like so and you always want to do everything on both feet so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the other foot as well All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some speed to our spirals. And I recommend starting just with like a little bit of speed. And you also want to have more speed. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if that makes sense. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to add some speed. And I'm going to show you guys in this small little area right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do like a couple of crossovers into it to get enough speed and power so that we'll be able to hold our spiral for as long as we can. And trust me, it makes it a lot easier, especially when you do edge spirals. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. You also want to make sure that you're doing it on the other foot and you are also working on your inside spirals because inside and outside spirals on both legs are also required for many tests.
All right, so now we just have to work on getting our spirals nice and big and nice and beautiful with a lot of speed. And the main, like the main helper with that is getting really strong hips and really flexible hips. So I recommend working on like hip strengthening exercises and also hip flexibility exercises. And this will definitely help a lot when you're working on your spirals. And it also will help even if you don't want to have a super nice and fancy like Sasha Cohen spiral, it will also help a lot if you're just working on your moves test. Because for a lot of moves tests and also for competitions, having a spiral that is either at hip level or above hip level, they prefer above hip level, is mandatory. So I definitely recommend working on those if you're trying to pass your move tests or you just want to compete. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what my spiral looks like after many years of working on it. So don't lose hope if you can't get your spiral to look like this at the very first time. You guys will definitely get it, you just have to keep working on it. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and that it helped you guys get your spirals. And again, I just wanted to mention that spirals take a very long time and a lot of practice to get perfect. So don't give up if you can't get it perfect the very first time. It takes a lot of work and I know that you guys can do this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys have any recommendations of videos that you guys want me to do tutorials on, leave those down below in the comments and I'll be really happy to do those for you guys. So this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.